Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Neo Cab. I'm hoping I can finish this game today. I don't think I'm going to because I'm running out of time. But, um, if the camera looks a little buggy, I've had, I had something happen last time when I was playing around just not even on camera. And something like, said I couldn't recognize that camera or something happened to the port or whatever. So this morning, I, I, had, I didn't have anything going on. I was like, well, I guess it's the camera they were talking about. And lo and behold... Turn it, turn it on, the camera will turn on, all that kind of stuff, unplugged it, restarted the computer. So I switched ports to one of my ports I really didn't want to put it in, but I did. And uh, it's working right now. It's, it was a little bit buggy, so I don't know if it's because it changed ports. So if it's a little bit buggy, I'll look at it um, and try to fix it and see what's going on. Right now it says it's working, so um, let's go ahead and continue. Hopefully we don't have to, like, do I have to not do it? Oh no, okay, we're fixing to go. Uh, we got pulled over by the cops. Our star rating is terrible. I really just want to go to bed. So we're gonna do this. That's what we're gonna do. Let me just see what happens. I kinda went. This is only like a five minute video. I'm okay with it. I couldn't bring myself to turn off the lamp next to the bed. I'd come here for the dreams, and now I was afraid of the dark. Classic. I lost myself in the orange haze behind my eyelids, and then I knew it was years ago, so I was in my house. She was touching everything. The seashells, the pine cones, and I knew that they, this was the only reason that I was alive. I looked down at my feet, and they were small and perfect, and I realized that they were hovering above the floor. I was flying, or at least floating in this room beside me. She wouldn't look at me. It wasn't too late for her, try, her to try. I want to grab her, make her see me, but suddenly I couldn't move. I wasn't floating. I was suspended. I died frozen in place. I woke up, the lamp was gone, had gone out. So much for that. The sign on the table said the Azteca was out of breakfast. I wake up, the Azteca was out of breakfast. Why do you have, do you have to repeat Why do you have to repeat that? Check my phone for another message from Sabi. The second I woke up, no. It looks like it's still nighttime now. That's the problem. All right, start shift. Savvy! Lena, are you there? Yes. I'm scared. Please let me know as soon as you get this. I'm here. What do you need? Oh my god, thank you, thank you. I need your help. I'm just running out of time. Just one more thing, and then this will all be over. I stole something, something big, but it's locked and encrypted. How can I help? Because I want to finish this damn game. Come get up. I gotta stay in hiding until we crack these files open. Can you just do one thing for me? Anything to help? Let's get this game over. <laughs> can you deliver the files to someone who can help, please? Um, I might know someone. I met, like, a quantum hacker. She can crack anything, apparently. Perfect. Don't say any more. Here. Can you get them to them now? What do I tell her? Tell her we have... Four terabytes of data, or at least strong encryption, and no passwords. Ridiculously. Tell her it's life or death that we read these files. And then what? Text me if your friend is that for real, then we can finally meet up. I'll send a pin. You a pin. You got this? I got it. Let's do it. Let's just get done. Amazing. Great. So step one, get the files is super easy, because you already have them. I left them on the fill grid I gave you. Okay. I had to think fast, please don't be mad, I'll explain everything soon, just get here soon. Good luck. Okay. Oh, where do I go? I guess her? I 
an old friend, Lowell Driver. Well, hello, no, darling. How's reality? Slightly better. I've been setting people up on blind dates. And they worked out. I've received reports of two thrown drinks and one near fist fight. So, yes. Thanks for agreeing to meet on such a notice. Sorry if I sounded a bit frantic. Certainly, a trumpet. I'm curious to say the truth, I hope I might see you again. You seem to make a timeline more interesting rather than less. I'd rather make the world better than more interesting. How boring. My estimation of that of you has decreased by one degree. But! Be a passphrase. Yes. Is it even possible? Anything is possible. Literally. Okay. Okay, so, have you ever seen one of these bracelets? Oh dear, yes. Very trendy. That feels good. It feels good. Is it? Feel great. That's right. Hot new social startup recently acquired by Capra for seats. So. Full access to blood data. Terrible privacy policy. I wouldn't get within 10 nanometers of it. That wasn't exactly a anyway, okay, it was a gift. I didn't know Cabra owned him. It was just, it just sounded fun for, to know my, something new about yourself. Maybe she sure, right? I'm not trying to scold you. Just take this as a reminder that all new technology is a meeting and uh, is a meeting and a cost for And you're sure to get something out of it. Some new insights and power, but you know the story. What, what deal did we make this time? It's not my deal. I don't even know the details yet, and that might be for the best. I feel my heart skip a beat, a flash of instinct that whatever Savvy was doing could get into a get me into a world of trouble. And in the game. Maybe it would <laughs> be wearing stolen tech the entire time. Maybe she had sensed it. I just know there are encrypted files stashed away in this bracelet. Can you take a look? I already am. Field grid wireless protocol is, is amateurish at best, a total pushover. This file doesn't belong Charlie's underscore Elliot dot dat. Charlie's hard drive. Ooh, stared into her hollow space, murmuring to herself. Now, this file is something else. Military grade quantum encryption enforced by the underlying medium. To attempt to read this without the password would be to destroy its contents. No, it's just light inside your little bangle. A tangle of photons twisted up tighter than you can imagine. Tiny hall of mirrors. There's information in there too, right? Light is information, my dear. The rawest, juiciest kind of information. What are they teaching in schools these days? I can read it easily. So you can just break into it? Dear, no, impossible. Thankfully, I won't have to decrypt it. Uh huh? Oh god, are you going to turn me? No, no, don't worry. What I mean is, I'm going to open this easy, the easy way using its passwords. We don't know the passwords. Let me ask you something. If you had an infinite amount of time, how would you obtain the passwords? Carry Charlie until he gave it up. Would be one way to do it. Let's say Charlie is dead. What? Interrogation is off the table. If you had an infinite amount of time, how would you take the password? Just keep guessing? Exactly right. My dear, you have the knack for quantum statistics. We don't have an infinite amount of time, do we? Uh, to say the least speed things along, I'll try every passphrase at once. Using... Math? No, it's a more muscular than that. I still don't understand. There's a way of making the world, the worlds, I should say, go a bit fuzzy. It's quite a lot of practice, but... Her eyes went glassy. Ah. There they are. 
if she was doing some sort of deep quantum compute computation, it didn't look like much. In fact, it just looks like a bored pack staring out of a window. Quiet, I'm working. Didn't say anything. You did another timeline very close to this one. Shh. I had never been scolded for something an alternate version of me had done. It felt unfair, but also sort of awesome. Maybe it was my imagination, but a chill seemed to settle in the car. It was deep inside herself. Or outside herself, ranging through other worlds farther and farther from this one. Trying a different passphrase in each one. Stack of reality, and you want to know if I found any diamonds while I was at it. Just curious. I know. I'm curious too about everything. That's why I got into this line of work. The passphrase is, well, it's a bit melodramatic. They usually are. It's Pilgrim's Crossed Airlo Airless Sah Sahara. Pilgrim's Crossed Airless Sahara. It's all lowercase. Better write that down in your journal, my dear. Just like that, I had it. What exactly are you going to do with this passphrase? Help a friend. Is that all? What do you mean, all? Oh. Nearby timelines, I saw the possibility for a bit more excitement. And I like excitement. What do you mean, like, chaos? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, you know how it is, how this works. You're in my debt now. Oh, really? Of course, this is a very basic story. You ask a favorable witch, later you pay the price. Ah, uh, got it. Good. That means I won't have to turn you into a toad. If that's all, then... We're right up here, dear. I wouldn't charge you for the ride. Just don't charge, just play free ride. Hope to see you again. I wouldn't mind learning more about it. Hope I see you again. The feeling is mutual. Luna scooched a bit as if she was going to leave, but then instead just But dear, there's something I need to tell you. I sat here scouring all those timelines. Everything changed all around us. One, a meteor crashed into a silverhorse. And another, a giant mutant worm rose up from below. Agonon was from below. Those weren't even the most unusual events. But through it all, there was a second phrase that seemed almost to match. This phrase wouldn't decrypt the drive you gave me, but it felt somehow entangled with its fate. The phrase, trust fund maggots. Gotta get there. Fine. 
five stars. My favorite of all adjacent limits. I'm back up to four. And I made a little bit of money. This Steve. Map. Uh Okay, let's let's get some let's get this. Before we decide we're gonna do anything else. I learned the hard way to got to grab a charge when you can and not to wear heels when driving. A little steep, but I got a full charge. Let's continue, let's do that. Do I need to, where is she at? Is this Lena? No, it's Risa Gold. I don't want him. Let's go to Stun's machine, maybe? No, I feel like... Let's go get Rena. Okay. I'm getting to see a Neo Cab by your AI, by your AI from some different risk. Something happened. Hello. Nice to see you again. Likewise. How have you been? Well, I exceeded at my safety goals. So I'm getting in that promotion. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm, I don't know how to feel about it. I've been so exhausted. I don't even know where I'm going. Is she going in the right direction to me? Well, I mean, right now destination I put in the app isn't even a real place. I just picked a random point on the map. I need some space. I know, in the parking lot we can get some donuts. <laughs> there are worse ideas. I'm actually supposed to go to this party at a gov, a gov, a gov club tonight. So I guess you can take me there. It's for my promotion. The company wants to feed my... Achievements with a chain safety record to 0.001% error margin. First time in company history. Seriously, that's something to celebrate. Sure, sure, the company is stronger for it. It's nice for me as a shareholder. Since we technically go anywhere, I thought maybe I could. Actually, I thought I might go to the airport instead. Might. That seemed like a pretty big decision to make on the spur of the moment. Was there more that she wasn't telling me? You didn't bring a suitcase? I can just buy new things there. You know, the timing surprises me too, honestly. But I'm feeling like I have to go back home. Where I grew up, I mean. And where's that? East Cortland. You wouldn't know it. I didn't. I wonder what made her so sure. The airport it is. Sacrificed everything to make the home care nurse as safe as I could possibly be. And now it is. And now here I am again. I got the promotion, but I feel like it never even happened. I feel like nothing ever happened in the last six months I've spent slaving away. Everything feels exactly the same as if I've just been... Let her think doesn't matter. It must be missing something. Maybe I'm not doing this whole life thing right. Do you know that feeling? Yes, yes, I did know it. I could tell her that I moved her for... I could tell I moved here for a supposed best friend who's either in trouble or doesn't care that much. Or both. Does anyone know how to do it right, though? The only ones who say they do are assholes or delusional. Or both. I won't argue with you there. I was getting, it was getting into, in your car that got me thinking about this in the first place. For example, why are you driving people around with cell phones of all places? It just makes me feel free, I guess. I realized I kept calling your car because I ended I'm in, envious of you. I have the chance to explore who you are. In a job that's so open, I mean, at least compared to mine. <laughs> I'd rather 
rather have your salary, though. That's fair. What I mean is, you can say whatever you want right now. No one is listening to your judging or except me and everything, even, even if I don't like this ride. There's another passenger right behind me. You get a blank slate every time. And you can fill it however you like. No one ever has. I suppose I was waxing a bit poetic. I just hope you enjoy your work. I'd feel a lot better if I heard from my friend. Well, what happened? She's probably. Just haven't heard from her in a while. She gets busy and forgets to message me sometimes. If she is fine, that sounds like a lot to put on for you. I'm sorry, I hope she's okay, but. How should I say this? It's so easy to end up building your life around someone else. Their needs, to, their wants, their movements. My, I had a boyfriend who died. Well, it was a motorcycle accident. I hated that motorcycle. I knew it would kill him. Everything seemed possible for us, and then it wasn't. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you. It was almost 10 years ago now. When I met him, I was still in East Cortland. I was digital experience designer at the Children's Theater, my first real job. I don't know. Can I, do you miss it? Maybe I do, sometimes. I, can tell, I can't tell anymore if it's missing him or just the time of my life. I apologize. Here I am dumping my feelings on the Neo cab driver again. Every time she started to open up, she caught herself. Whatever drove her to build these walls, they were sturdy, definitely low bearing. You don't need to be just your Neo cab driver, you know. I don't need to be just your Neo cab driver, you know. There is so much more than that. You must know that. So I have an idea. Would you possibly want to come to this work event with me tonight? Now she, now she wasn't going to the airport anymore? Whatever was going on with her, these back-to-back -back fourth decisions were keeping me on my toes. Flattered, but why do you want me to come? Well, I just might be more comfortable not having to go alone. Are you sure you're doing okay? I'm just tired. And the party is going to be so boring. Maybe I don't want to go at all. It's not like they would unpromote me because I didn't go to a silly party. We go get on a plane and be back in East Cortland by morning. Don't know. I can still change my destination, right? This feels like an uncharted tour of Louisa, and I wasn't sure how to navigate it. All of her manipulations armor was coming down, and now she was so hopeless. Her energy had shifted and softened. Back home, huh? What would you do there? I'm trying to get her back home. I don't want to go to that party. <laughs> what would you do there? I might start with a stack of blueberry pancakes. How homespun is that? I give up. I may have gone to completely insane. Lena, I'll go wherever you drive me. Where should we go? I thought about suggesting we do donuts in the parking lot again, but... She was really upset. No, not even upset. Something deep. She was brighter somehow, even if she looked like she might cry in any second. We're going to the airport. I think getting out of town would do you some good. So look at that this is the life I'm escaping. Luxury condo, condo and all. Sometimes you need a big change to move forward. That's what they say. Yes, the airport then. How funny, as soon as you said it, it was sure it was the right thing. I hope so. You gotta follow your heart. I'm not sure if this is the kind of thing people mean when they say that. This is more like following a broken heart. I mean, wow, I'm doing something profoundly in insensical. It feels... It feels like something important. Maybe that's just a cognitive bias talking now that I've made up in my mind, but... There will be pancakes! That much I know. Try to enjoy it, okay? And don't be so tough on yourself. And who will I be tough on? 
<laughs> the pancake chef. <laughs> That's fair. Never expected to meet someone like you in this way. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Likewise. Well, I'll let you know if I come back to Los Angeles. Not Lena. So this is your chance to, like, finish up. She walked away and felt like there was something different about her. She was lighter, brighter. Maybe even a blank slate. Having a good mood. Okay, driver showed good judgment and face it to me in a different situation. What broken man? Okay. Nope. Hopefully we just get to it was well after midnight and I met my ride quota. I checked my free will get deep yellow. I need to find out what's going on with Savvy. I need to help her if I can. I had what Savvy asked for. It was time to find out what this was all about. Sweaty as soon as I saw it, a massive trove of chat logs, docs, schematics. All watermark cap or confidential and blocked letters. Whoa. What exactly do you think is in there? Like a million smoking guns. Did Charlie tell you what he does? No, he said it was a secret. But he definitely kept talking about how he couldn't talk about it. Exactly. He's inner circle. Hamper's up to some shady shit, I just know it. I had my share of revenge fantasies about Gabriel, but now that we are actually doing something... Uh, I feel incredible. It feels incredible. I feel incredible. Gotcha. What did you find? Shit, never mind. Blah, blah, meeting notes, reports, reports. Come on, I know you've got dirt in here, okay, Charlie. It seemed okay. No way, he's Camper Shill, through and through. Dude was way too squirrely not to be hiding some serious shit. I've just got to find something big enough to be the whistleblower, and not just like a criminal. 
She's taking a huge risk. She was just under the truck. Uh, just seeing offshore accounts, golden parachutes, for executive harassers, for forged safety reports. Just one of the middle corporate stuff. Trust me, getting something juicier. Something we can use. She had a point. The only way to this would. The only way this was to find something big enough to justify the whole property type thing. There was Ona's weird message. Or what would Gideon do with a cache of internal camper files? So be the new. Yes, brilliant. Oh my god, oh my god, are you seeing this? The documents spilled into the hall space in front of Sabi. If even one of them had something big. Hey, dirt. Look, a report from Charlie, some pilot program called Project Sophie. No way that's not shady, right? Whoa. Lena. This is. I thought back to my conversations with Azul. Am I wrong? Did Caper really have Sophie killed? I knew Caper would do anything to make sure Sophie's law passed, but this is cynical, even for them. This is so fucked. Wait, what does it say? What's it say? Caper acquired Field Grid a year ago. Total stealth acquisition. No public knowledge. That's why William said they were handling them out of out of that protest. <clears throat> Are you serious? They've been har harvesting my emotional data the, this entire time? Yours, mine, all in real time. A live drive of how we feel in, in our bones. Streaming to the highest bidder. That is gross. That's not even the half of it. Listen to this bit on emotional priming. Each ad unit is customized to the viewer's current state. From past billboards to hollow space overlays. The backseat of every Capra car. Some sellers will want to target customers in negative vulnerable states, while other <clears throat> cater to a relaxed, even an elated consumer profile. Blue users respond more strongly to commercial messages from alcohol, junk food, and VR escorts. Status items and vacation packages and yellow or fucking a fucking course. What does that have to do with Sophie Lemieux? Project Sophie, this looks like out and out ele election electionary. Wait, what? What is this? Our gen generative advertorial network creates customized images, slogans, and even full campaigns. So that we can proactively steer individuals into the desired effective state. So they can push you push us into whatever color suits them. More or less, they're neutral net experiments on you until it knows your most reliable triggers. It's factored into their whole network. Billboards, music, even the ambient light timbre of Capra capsule. Um, how they twisted Liam's photo. A sea of blue wristbands projected five stories high. They definitely had a playbook for that kind of stunt. Which means whenever you picked up your phone, whenever you're taking Capra's car, you, you're polling place. They're already priming me. Every article I read, every song I hear, every sign I pass. So when you're casting that vote, you'll have your exact they'll have you exactly where they want you. How do they want me? Depends. Could be angry or scared. <clears throat> Blissed out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or pass vote. Whatever moves you into their voting block. It made all terrible kinds of sense. This crosses a line, right? This is automated psychological manipulation. Election laws, too. They've made every tiny micro average undeclared political message. And we've got the receipts. We've got the receipts. This is what we used to steal the final news cycle back to camera. We leak this and it floods the zone. The vote is crazy close right now. If we wake up a few thousand pro camera people or just convince them to stay home, then boom. Campus brand gets two black eyes, and their their, their car band is dead and hello, probably everywhere. I can see it all playing out in my head. Sevy might just get away with it. Sophie's law would would fail, and the world would see Capra abuse their power. 
maybe they've even lost some of it. Now we just leak it to your contract. We just leak it to your contact. Sit back, watch, and you should text them now. You should text them now. Which contact? The one who gave you the password. She's like some ex Capra whiz, right? Unless you know someone better. I thought Liam. It seemed like he'd know what to do with this kind of thing. But no, something was bothering me. What did you know about Luna? You told me about her. Or maybe I heard her name around Cape Breton. She used to work for them, right? No, no, she's ex Caper for sure. Look, don't worry about it. Just say it was an anonymous car courier job. Neo Cap does those, right? No one will ever know it was us. Are you with me or not? Oh yes, let's take down care. Let's get let's end the game. <laughs> yes, there's but go break the fire. So we just make sure we give the file to someone with a following, an influencer. As long as they've got a following and are anti capra enough to take the heat. And Sophie's law goes down and Capra doesn't get total control of everything. At least not right now. The new Savage is right, we had to let public know. We caught at least even when we got caught. It was a it was the chance of a lifetime. It takes the stacked deck and the shuffle. The cards in our favor just this once. There was just one major problem. Your face is still plastered every on every billboard in the city. Can't we send the files from your laptop? Are you seriously suggesting we start pinging cell towers right now? Half the transceivers use camper chips, and they know exactly what we have. No, I need to be... I need, need to be a person. You know you're not safe out there. It'll be fine. We're willing to risk it. We just need to move quickly. Whatever camper of squad cars, I said I'm willing to risk it. You're taking a risk with both our lives, Saviest. Wait, what are you trying to say? I'll make the drop off you stay here. You'll be safe. I'll be safe. Radix wins. Everyone wins. You want to do this without me? This isn't a fight for me, no. But you can help me help. But you can let me help. It's just for this last leg, right? Quick playing girl, you go and make the history. I'll just twirl my thumbs in this tin can. The only way. I don't know why you're being like this, but even if I thought you were doing it for the right reasons, and not just trying to grab the glory, I'm not sure I trust you to pull it off without me. Please don't be angry with me. I'm not angry, it's just you're like the least selfish person I know, and I was hoping you could do this together. I mean, after everything I've done for you, just give me this, okay? This could go really, really badly for both of us. So why are you here? I was worried sick about you. about Capra or I just this was my idea to bring Radix to the next level you know no offense but you like just got to LO and I've been working my way up for months so I just need to do this my way and then I can bring you in okay she wasn't going to budge I knew it from years of watching people get pushed in and out of our little circles I mean, always got her way Remember Una's final conf confusing message to me Anything that search trust fund maggots. A new folder fall, put, flew open on her hollow space. At first, all saw was my name over and over again in these files. There were other I recognized Liam, Ali, Una, even Agonon. What is this? Please tell me this isn't what it looks like. It was just to keep you safe. When I said I'd always have your back, I meant it. As soon as my field grid pulsed deep red, a new file appeared in the folder with a sickening ping sound. Yeah, the field grids have a back door, pretty wide open. Charlie showed me, even more undocumented API. You're tracking me? You gave me this so you could spy me? Listening to me and my packs this whole time? No, no, not at all. I just thought it'd help you. When I stashed the file on it, I needed to make sure you were safe. 
so I can signal someone to come get it. Or tell a swarm where to find you if Camper was getting too close. I haven't even was doing anything, I swear. I had to see it for myself. Hey, Athena, seriously, are we doing this right now? Play audio, Liam. Do you think I can send you the picture? You can tell me what you think. I want to share it. I think it's important, but the blood rushed out of my face. I folded my knees, wobble like I was going to be sick and pass out. My heart broke a betrayal. I don't understand why you do this to me. Do you even understand what a huge violation this is? God, don't give me the sad puppy thing over this. You have nothing to worry about. I was just to keep tabs on the file. I swear I haven't even looked at what it was reported. So now it's time. I'll leak the capital files and go get a drink, okay? You don't get it, do you? I'm doing this by myself. Why can't you just trust me? All by yourself, huh? That's not happening. I've worked way too hard to just let you walk out of here without me. You're the one that's been transporting stolen documents for days, remember? And who knows what else is in those recordings. Don't make me turn you in. So everything had come down to this. Finding out my best friend had betrayed me and then having to fight her just to be able to walk away. How was Philbert still a calm green while mine was glowing blue? Why was it the one who felt walking like into an ocean? turn me in just like that? It's not like I want to. Come on, this isn't us. We're better than this. And this isn't you trying to sabotage me. I know you're better than this because I know you're better than you know yourself, girl. You know what I mean? I knew exactly she knew all my secrets, all my fears. Even before she spied on me, she knew exactly how to hurt me. But then again, I knew the same things about her, right? didn't I? If she was going to throw anything she could she could at me, maybe I had to do the same, or at least try to get her to see the truth about how she treated me. It'd make me it'd make her mad and it just might make her give up. I forced myself to take a deep breath, centering breath. The smallest sort flickered across her face, still in the green glow. You know, you've never really cared about anyone but yourself. Maybe it's because you're an only child or something. You're not in this world lonely that you rely on others too. You couldn't even bother be bothered to pick up my boyfriend at the protest. He could have been hurt. All while I was basically risking my life for the cause. It's just all about you, isn't it? You're so selfish. Because all I've done this week in night, any well, shut up. Don't turn this on me. You're the one who crossed the line. this week mean nothing anything to you after everything I did how I helped you I can't believe you just throw that all away why was I trying to make her see value in me why was I fighting to keep her in my life when she treated me so terribly I couldn't believe our big reunion had turned into this I was losing the energy to keep fighting her Selfish is ditching your best friend the moment you... Oh, this feels really unfair. Whatever. I could tell she was just getting started. I already felt like I was losing, letting her job get to me. Nothing seemed to face Savvy. Savvy looked like she was enjoying all this, somehow like she was in her element. Exactly why I left you in Cactus Flats. Your emotions are out of control. I get that you're sensitive and all this deep feeling stuff got to toughen up and rein it in, girl. It's like constantly walking on eggshells around you. You didn't even defend me when Azul was talking trash. Guess you don't mind when someone sells out of the best friend. Meanwhile, I was in a danger and risking my life for the cause. I didn't say anything to him because... <clears throat> I didn't say anything to him because I don't want anybody to know I knew you. You're, you're so volatile. You must scare half your packs off good. Okay, 
can't keep a boyfriend for a month. Don't blame me for the reaction to the cause. I'm not going to rehash old fights with you right now. I'm not going to rehash old fights with you right now. If you want to talk about what happened kind of close, we can. But not when we're both so upset. What? Are you Buddhist now or something? Trust me, it gets old real fast. Stay calm was keeping me centered. My heart ached to think of losing her. I didn't even care about being right. I just wanted her with me. Why are you being so mean to me? Whatever. I knew there was no way she was going to stop piling it on now. I could almost feel her coming through our past to find her next attack. Coming through our past. I had to keep centered or just to make her mad enough to back off. It was like Sabu was wearing a mask. Nothing broke through. Sabu still had the self-important look on her face. You know what's the shittiest part of this? It's that the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll under and undermine me. You pretend you're innocent and sweet. But you'll do something bad as long as you know you won't. You know, I would be more invested in what she'd say if this game was actually good. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of like, oh, whatever. <laughs> they basically lie, and you're a fraud. At least I'm always real with you. You claim you hate Cabra, but you went home with him. Gee, I think you'd be proud of me to be Cabra. Attacking me isn't going to help you. Now, consider calm, call me names so you can pull me into going along with you. Grow up. Stop provoking me. I'm not doing anything. I wasn't taking her bait, and it was getting to her. I took a deep breath. This isn't why I came here. Whatever. She was running out of steam. So I'm going to find one last barb she could throw at me. Whatever she came up with, I knew it was going to be... Maybe that's why they purposely made the game bad, so I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> maybe that's why. Brace for impact. I wasn't sure if I was going to scream and keep it together. It's like Savvy was wearing a mask. Nothing broke through. Savvy had to, that self-important look on her face. Lena, it's time to grow up. Stop being a meek little flower. Because right now, your fear is keeping you from getting what you deserve. Tough enough. Don't be such a weakling. It's so sad that you're still scared of what people think of you or what might go wrong. When will you learn that sometimes following the rules just hurts people? You have everything handed to you. You're right. I'm scared. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing we can do. Maybe we're both scared right now. Oh, can we just focus on getting back to our plan? Move in together like like a hello. Boo. Even when I said those words, I could feel the possibility of sipping away. I'm just clinging to her. Oh, come on. I'm actually brave to take responsibility for your act. Affect others, you know. Can we just give me, like, one second to think? Whatever. I feel like Savvy was wearing a mask. Oh, God. Alright. Oh god, oh, whatever. Okay. I'm so sorry. Listen, why are we fighting? Because you're betrayed. Oh god, whatever. Whatever. You care about yourself? Damn it. Alright, whatever. I, I am, like, done with this game. No savvy. Whatever. I'm just... At this point, I'm just like... Whatever. Let's just get this game over with. There was a way to fight her, but I, I don't care. I just want this game to end. Oh, I'm not even reading the text anymore. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even care anymore. Like, I am so sorry, guys. This game just... Whatever. Whatever. Just, let's just get the game over with. 
I'm stuck with plant, whatever, yeah, let's just do it. There you go! Nope, We're, you're going to jail now. There you go. Yep. Okay. Whatever. I'm not even reading. There you go. <laughs> yep. Yes. Just get just go. Get her gone. Whatever. All right. Good. Is the game over? Cool. Night six. Cool. So it all ended right there as a cop pulled me out of my own car and into the system. For most of the charges against me, I was able to clear my name with all records, all the records having made of my time in hell. No. Turns out her spine actually saved me. She stuck me with a misdemeanor for not disclosing her whereabouts right away, but that's it. They confiscated the field grid and nothing got out about Capra. Their crimes are invisible and inevitable. So it's all passed, and I'm out of my job. Neo Cab was given three months to cease all operating levels. There was so much point waiting. Blah, 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 blah. But there was still one thing keeping me here. But he had kept me, kept me less than 24 hours. But Savvy, she had more explaining to do. I spent the next night in the shipping container, wondering if she were okay. What would happen, which was the whole story. My heart almost stopped when I could text coming from, Hey, honey, can you pick me up? Which could I have, what could I have said but yes. Oh god, just get... Uh. So they just let you go. Oh no, they didn't just let me go. They basically gave me a third degree in custody. It just... And, uh, you're lucky they let you go or whatever. It's just... You know, get the fuck... I don't give a fuck. Get, just end the game. Just end the game. Just end the game. Just end the damn game. No, oh, whatever. Just <laughs> give up on this game. Oh no, no. Yep, the bullshit. Guys, see, it's on rails. This is not what I'm feeling. I don't mean to, but whatever. I'm not even. Re I've stopped reading it for the past ten minutes. Can we just end the game? That's it, right? That's it. Oh my god. Good, just ending it. This game is dog shit. <laughs> this game is bad. Like, I don't... This was a bad game. I, I, it, I wanted a story game, and there's a story there, but... It felt like it's on rails. And maybe it's because I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 and it's not fair to this game. But this is the first time on my channel I've played a game and I'm like, this is just like bad. <laughs> this is a bad game. It's just not fun. I, I like the aspect of driving around and meet people, obviously, with the other game that did it way better, uh, which was a Night Call. Way better. Way better art. Way better story. <laughs> No, this was all about betrayal and stuff like that, and I get it, I saw the story, but it just... Whatever. It, it felt... As a dude playing this game, it felt like a controlling woman, and that's what it felt like to me. And I'm not saying that about... I'm not saying anything bad about women at all. all right? I, if you know me, I'm all for women's rights, all that kind of stuff, and that's, you know, great. And, and 
that people shouldn't be spawning your emotions and using them against you and all that kind of stuff, but put that in this game just felt way too political and for my liking, and it was a story-based game where I thought I had more options, but I guess that's part of the story, right? Like, it's supposed to control your emotions. And I don't let... And, like, the game made me mad because I don't do that. Like, I'm very emotionally intelligent of what... So, like, her, like, you didn't even defend me. Well, because I didn't want people to know you. I knew you. Duh. Like, <laughs> whatever. And then it's like, oh, you can win this emotional battle with her. And I'm like, I, at this point, I would just take the place off and walk out of the crazy. It's your fucking problem. Here. I thought it was like, here's your fucking bracelet. Bye, bitch. It just, <laughs> it's your problem. And walk out. That's exactly what I would do. But no, because... I'm playing as an antagonist and that I can't make choices. Like, <clears throat> you get these choices, but you can make only one of them. No. This game is bad. I'm sorry to the developer. I'm sorry who made the game. In premise, on paper, it sounds good. In execution, bad. And I really just want to skip this and end the video, because I'm just mad that I've wasted my time and money playing <laughs> this game. I, I mean, I know. I'm, I, I'm, again, I'm not... I'm not saying anything bad about the developer, I'm not saying anything bad about who made anything bad about anybody who said anything about this game. For me, it sucked. For me, it was bad. You know? For people who think Baldur's Gate 3 is bad. You know? So, but for me, not good. Not good for what I was looking for, not good for actually having a choice, because you don't. It's, it, it's a game, to me, I feel like I got hokey-doked. Whatever. I'm going to delete this game from... from I'm going to upload this to Kappa's Reach, even if you think everyone represents the worst. For them, blah, 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 whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. We're going to end this game here. I'm going to delete this game. I am so happy I'm done with this game. I could go on to a new one. So, I'm ready to play the new one. This game sucked. I do not recommend it. But that's just for me. So... Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see.